Welcome back to the final episode of that God Power channel of this year. Um, this is the channel where we're going to unlock the God Power that's laying dormant on the inside of you. But first, today, what we do is conclude the book of Acts by breaking down the last chapter that's available in Acts, which is chapter 28. Now, those of you who have been with me today have seen me break down chapter 25, 26, and just now 27. So this is the final chapter. If you haven't seen those chapters or any of the previous ones, I suggest you go back and watch so you can understand what's going on in the story. I don't really feel like this is a chapter where you could just come in and you're like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like you just come in and just like get hip to the story. You got to have some kind of context uh, for this chapter. So with no further ado, let's break down the final chapter of 2019 and also the final chapter of Acts from the Bible. Hey! Now, if we can remember, on chapter 27, there is a shipwreck. Um, so if you didn't see chapter 27, go back and watch it, because there's a shipwreck, and it's really uh, detailed about what happens during the shipwreck. So chapter 28 starts like this. After the shipwreck, they were safe on shore, and they learned that they were in uh, the land or an island called Malta. The people of the island were very kind to them. It was cold and rainy, so they built a fire on the shore t uh, to welcome them. So the people that they landed on, the, uh, on their island, they built a fire on the shore to welcome them in. That's how kind these people were. So as Paul gathered an armful of sticks and was uh, laying them on the fire, a poisonous snake driven out by the heat bit him on the hand. And the people of the island saw it hanging from his hand, and they said to each other, A murderer, no doubt! Though he escaped the sea, justice will not permit him to live. So they think that Paul's a murderer just because he got bit by a poisonous snake. And they're like, yo, the universe knows all. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get you back for your crimes. But Paul shook off the snake into the fire and he was unharmed. And the people there were waiting for him to swell up and suddenly drop dead. But when they had waited long enough, they seen that he wasn't harmed. And they changed their minds. They decided that Paul was actually a god. Now near the shore where they landed, there was an estate belonging to Publius, who was the chief of, uh, official of the island. And he welcomed them and treated them kindly for three days. Now as it happened, Publius's father was ill with a fever and dysentery. And Paul went in and prayed for him and laid his hands on him, and he healed him. Then all the other sick people on the island came and they were also healed. As a result, Paul and crew were showered with honors, and when they came to sail, people supplied them with everything they would need for the trip. It was about three months after the shipwreck that they set sail on another ship that had wintered at the island. Um, it was an Alexandria ship, and they had twin gods as its figurehead. Now, the first stop was Syracuse, where they stayed for three days. From there, they went on to Regium. Then they went south... Um, they went to this place called Patoli. Then they found some believers that invited them to stay a week with them as they came to Rome. Now the brothers and sisters in Rome had heard that they were coming, and they came to meet them at the Forum on Appia Way. Um, and others joined them at the three taverns. When Paul saw them, he was encouraged, and he thanked God. When we arrived in Rome, Paul was permitted to have his own private lodging, though he was guarded by a soldier. And three days after Paul's arrival, he called together all the local Jewish leaders. And he said to them, Brothers, I was arrested in Jerusalem, handed over to the Roman government, even though I had done nothing against our own people or the customs of our ancestors. The Romans tried me and wanted to release me because they found no cause for a sentence of death. But when the Jewish leaders protested the decision, I felt it necessary to appeal to Caesar, even though I had no desire to press charges against my own people. I asked you to come here today so that we can get acquainted and so that I can explain to you that I am bound with these chains because I believe the hope of Israel, the Messiah, has already come. And then they replied, We have had no letters from Judea or reports against you from anyone who has come here. But we want to hear what you believe, for the only thing we know about this movement is that it's denounced everywhere. So basically, they've heard about the things that Paul knows, which is called the way. 
but it's denounced all over the region. Like people are treating it like it's a cult. So a time was set on that day and a large number of people came to Paul's lodging. He explained and testified about the kingdom of God and tried to persuade them about Jesus from the scriptures. Using the law of Moses and the books of the prophets, he spoke to them from morning until evening. Now, some were persuaded by the things he said, but others, they didn't believe. And after they had argued back and forth amongst themselves, they left with this final word from Paul. Paul said, The Holy Spirit was right when he said to your ancestors through Isaiah the prophet, Go and say this to the people. When you hear what I say, you will not understand. When you see what I do, you will not comprehend. For the hearts of the people are hardened, and their ears cannot hear. And they have closed their eyes, so their eyes cannot see. And their ears cannot hear, and their hearts cannot understand. And they cannot turn to me, and let me heal them. So I want you to know that this salvation from God has also been offered to the Gentiles, and they will accept it. So that's what Paul's final word was them. He just left them with like, a prophet's a prophecy from Isaiah, and then he's wanted to let them know that hey, God's gift is for the Gentiles as well. And for the next two years, Paul lived in Rome at his own expense. So Paul is no longer a prisoner anymore. He's just living in Rome as it's at his own expense. And he welcomed all who visited him, boldly proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ. And no one tried to stop him. And he lived happily ever after. <laughs> Sorry, nah, but that is the end of chapter 28. Paul is just happily preaching in Rome. He has he doesn't have to appeal before Caesar because that note that they wrote about him going to Italy, it got lost in the storm. So there's no note. There's, there's no reason why they would be against Paul. So he's just in Rome teaching the word of God and preaching about Jesus. And that's the end. What a dope story and that's the end of the whole book of acts so from the beginning you see all the trials and tribulations they had to go through just to preach the word of god and now you see that at the end of the book paul is in rome safe preaching the word of god some people believe it some people don't but hey there's nobody trying to stop him and that's the dope part so thank you everybody for joining me for all these breakdowns of the bible and the book of Acts, for all the breakdowns that we did this whole year, for all my God Power videos, it's been an amazing year, a lot of support, a lot of love, a lot of new subscribers, welcome to the channel, um, it's only going to get bigger and better as we go into this next year, and I hope that everybody who was with me in the previous years comes with me to this next year, so happy new years to everyone, and let's celebrate now, because we are finished breaking down the book of Acts. So, hope you learned something. Hopefully, you take this knowledge and you, you know, let it persuade you to do something similar to the apostles as far as getting the word of Jesus out there. Um, and other than that, you know what I'm saying, just hopefully you had a great year. Be, be safe tonight. And uh, whatever you do, whatever you do, just remember that you got that God. <laughs> I'm a bit